body, an older one, and you're restoring it, you probably have the same problem I have. You have these uh, rear quarter glass, the molding is just crap, right? You can't, I mean, spend all the time restoring your car and you got that, that's gonna look like crap. I picked up one of the uh, molding sets that go over it and it looks like crap too. So I'm gonna show you how to repair this the right way to where it'll look like it never happened. And you'll be back and you'll be able to keep your little Mustang glass. Okay, so first thing you got to do is clean the glass. I like to use lacquer thinner to clean anything. It gets rid of overspray typically or anything like that. People say you steal wool. I've found that it does scratch my glass ever slightly. But, you know, you don't have to use that. You can use steel wool if you prefer that. So what you do is you kind of start here and you pull the tape and then you tighten it there. So you get a nice straight line across there. You don't try to bend the corners. You cut them in. Same with the stop. So you, you put a little start there, then you pull the tape down all the way down here to get on that nice tight edge, and then you press it down, and then you run your finger back, which gives you that nice, straight, perfect line. That's how you, how you do that. So then what you do is you come back here, and you cut in these corners. So I'm going to get a razor blade and just cut the corners in. I don't cut the straight lines. I cut the corners only. And the other ones form the straight lines. All right, so I'm gonna do that. After you get them all cut in, another trick I like to do is I like to leave um, an extra layer of tape. So after I lay the body filler, I can pull the tape and it leaves a nice perfect line. So it'll help on that. This, you can't really get in there and do it like I'd like to. So I'll just be careful and uh, I'll have to clean it up. Maybe I'll run a straight line from here and then bend it and then down there just to kind of, so I can pull it easier. And you don't have to do the entire window in one shot. I still need to cut that there, it looks like, so. All right, now I'm gonna scuff it with uh, probably 220 grit, and then uh, hit it with some body filler to help fill in all those little imperfections, because that's what body filler is supposed to do. It's only supposed to fill in minor imperfections. This isn't even an eighth of an inch, but it just looks nasty. So when you start doing more than an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch, that's when you have problems. So, uh, <clears throat> After putting one coat of body filler on, I figured I'd show you what it looks like. It's a really crap job, but uh, I wanted to make sure I got it on there. Usually I could spread it a lot better, but I had to go around this whole window, and here in Florida it's really hot, so it's dry. it was drying too fast. So Anyway, I'll sand it down and uh, show you what that looks like. Maybe we can get it in one this coat. Is after just hitting it with a, a block sander, um, you can do it, of course, by hand, but Box and it makes fast work of it. I use uh, the 3M stick it. Uh, there's the part number 05444. It's a great board, just easy Another to use. The thing I like to do is uh, I take a mixing stick, break it up a little bit shorter than the stick of, uh, shorter than the sheet. I use uh, 80 grit for all this stuff. And then you just kind of sand it, you know, so. With the first little line of body feathers, so I need a little bit more down there at the end. You know, this is kind of rough there, I missed that spot. And then like along here, it just feels rough. And then I think right up in here, I'm gonna put just a little bit there and maybe a little bit up there. But besides that, looks pretty good. So uh, this is actually the second coat of primer. There are a couple little spots I probably could fix, but I'm just not gonna. There's a little spot right there. Tiny little pinholes up in there and stuff, but. For the most part, it's all nice and back to looking like original. So one thing that you want to do is you want to kind of recreate that texture. So you thicken up your primer a little bit. That's what I like to do for something like that because you can't sand texture. You have to create it with the spray. So when I also, when I go to spray the black part on there, I will uh, also make it a little thicker or turn down the air pressure. If you're using like a rattle can, then, you know, just get something kind of stand back a little bit further that'll create more dust so uh but uh yeah so now i just need to figure out which black exactly i want to spray it so but for the most part it's nice and restored now back to the original shape and stuff like that so it'll look good once i paint the car i'll do the other side but i won't make a video on that so i went ahead and shot it with some uh, rattle can black just to kind of cover it up for now figure out what I'm going to spray it with, a little bit of dust until they add on there. But uh, yeah, it looks a lot better now. 
Now it looks nice compared to, especially compared to what it was. Remember up here it was all kind of pitted and stuff and now it's not, so. I would say it's a win, man. This tape here, I actually uh, removed the glass and put tape behind it so it wouldn't bond itself to the car. Just kind of a step you wanna do. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but anyway, there it is.